maintenance have a look at the deposit box room camera. The broken one. Yeah, Perez brought someone down there himself. The man is really hands-on today. I've only seen him this proactive once before. You know, when we had that uh, bomb threat a few years ago. Ugh, is he also running the investigation upstairs? No, that's Fabian Mann. Although I'm guessing Perez being around so much today is related to that investigation. But I don't know what they're working on. Well, I guess if we need him, we just break one of the cameras and he'll come running. This is kind of exciting. Break in? I never thought I'd see that happen. Keep your voice down, man. Perez catches us talking about this with Toast. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. It's just... I mean, how did they pull it off? Is, it, is there a big hole leading into the vault? You know anything? Uh, I don't know. They've shut off access to the vault and deposit boxes for the investigation. Now stop talking about it. You're fine, fine. Whatever. I'll ask Frank. He's a lot more talkative. <laughs> Best of luck. I'm really sorry, but we've had to section off this area for now. The head of security suspects there may have been some tampering going on here. But I need my things in there. Well, we'll be done before closing time. Again, I'm really sorry, but Perez keeps coming down here. I'm not taking any chances by letting you in. But... He's not here now, and the camera looks broken. Who's gonna know? Sorry, not on my watch. Talk to Perez if it's that important, but expect a big no. Great, thanks for nothing. Find anything yet? No, but I'm not even sure what we're looking for. I understand the task and why we're doing it. Someone broke in and we're here to see if they stole something, but we don't even have a master list to compare with. I did mention to Man that it would be more beneficial to shut down the bank and do a full sweep, but he said no. My guess? There's some sensitive shit around here that he doesn't want to leak. That's why he made us sign that ten-page NDA. He's a dodgy bastard, isn't he? Absolutely. I don't really feel comfortable with this. It's just a job, you know? No, Wayne. The job is to find and expose irregularities and signs of fraudulent behavior. Expose, not hide. I understand Athena Savalas pulls a lot of weight in the industry and the partners are dying to please her, but... Well, we're complicit now. It's pretty obvious that Savalas and that man character are hiding something. Maybe they even staged the break-in themselves to cover up their tracks. But, like it or not, the job right now is to find out what is missing and place anything suspicious in a pile. I don't know. If we find anything, we should make sure the FBI sees it. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. And lose your job? Pension? Health insurance? I'm not ready to do that. Think hard about what you want to do, Karen. Everything has consequences. My god, there's a lot of paperwork here. What happened to digitization? It's like the 1920s in here. Hmm. That's the head of security here, Mateo Perez. He'll be holding one of the three backup data disks. I need to ask you a few questions. You were working late last night, correct? Sure thing, Mr. Perez. I left around 10. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Cleaning crew coming in early, for instance? No, nothing like that. I was working on closing accounts. Director Savalas has moved the goalpost on the number of closures we need to complete this month. There were a few others working late, but that's not unusual. All right. Thank you. If you think of anything, please don't hesitate to let me know. Enjoy your work day. <clears throat> if there's one thing you can be sure of in this life, is that this idiot is always late. Anything new to report? Nothing new to report, sir. Excellent. Keep up the good work.
So everything all right here? Sure thing, Mr. Perez. We're on top of everything here. Good. It's important to keep a tight ship today, understood? We don't want anything leaking. This is straight from Director Savalas. Count on us, Mr. Perez. Loose lips sink ships and all that. I read you loud and clear. Good man. I'll be by later. We're chasing ghosts here. Did you manage to get the water deposit box interactions I mentioned? Yes, sir. It's taken some time, but as far as we can tell, there's nothing unusual here. Now, I'm not really an investigator, so the finer points might slip by me. If you want to make sure, maybe get one of Mr. Mann's externals from up top to verify. No. I trust you more than I do his people at the moment. What is this about, Mr. Perez? You suspecting Mann of something? Well, either there was a break-in, or someone made it look like there was a break-in. If we can't find any evidence to support the first assumption, then the second one must be true. If so, why? Why stage a break-in? Insurance scam? Unlikely. Smells more like a cover-up to me. We'll see. Keep up the good work. Yes, of course. I'll put you through. Have you seen anything unusual or worrying today, miss? It's just business as usual here, Mr. Perez. How's everything looking up here? Everything's looking normal here, sir. Good. I'll be back later. Have you got anything to report? Well, not a lot is happening, sir. Looks like a normal day, except, of course, it's not, right? What's that? Uh, well, you know, the incident. Can I ask, like, how bad is it? I mean, did they, did they empty the vault, or...? Are you an imbecile? Were my instructions not clear? No, I, I just... It, no, it's just us here, I, so I didn't... Didn't think? That's obvious. Nobody talks about this out here, you understand me? The stock is very sensitive. Any rumor or something illicit could affect it. And your job. Of course. I'm sorry, sir. That won't happen again, sir. Make sure it doesn't. Is there anything I need to know, miss? No, but I'll be sure to let you know if anything comes up, Mr. Perez. Never a dull moment in this place. Do you have things under control here? Everything's looking good, sir. Everything all right, him? Nothing to report, Mr. Perez. Squad, lay it on me. What's the conclusion? We good? Mr. Mann, we've been reviewing for just a few hours. It's, it's not quite enough to get through the substantial amount of documentation here. You were supposed to be the best. I was told you were the best. Mr. Mann, Kruger and Schultz has won Best Internal Auditing Awards nine years in a row. We are the best. But we cannot perform miracles. Besides, what you're asking us to do here is borderline criminal. Don't worry your pretty little head about the legality of the job. I've got a lot of shit to worry about today, and I might miss both my daily workout and my five o'clock colonic because of the break-in. I'm feeling pretty salty here, lady. Less wine, more action. Oh, why am I forced to use this thing? I swear those people in IT need to get off their asses and install the right software on my laptop. No. Huh. Nothing here. Ah, oh, man, this is such a drag. I'll get back to it later. Uh, Chuck, wasn't it? Look, I'm going for a round. Nobody gets in or out of the conference room unless I say so. The name's Charles. We got it the last time you came down. 
No need to spend your time checking up on him. I'll report anything necessary to Mr. Perez. Mr. Perez, huh? Yeah, all right. Guess I'll talk to him to make sure we're on the same page. You're all extras anyway. You do that, Mr. Man. Guys, I'm getting a little tight from watching all this non-action. Get a move on. Hey, Mr. Man! Well, how's the investigation going? Everything's fine, but, uh, can I ask you a favor? Oh, well, certainly, Mr. Man. Stop talking about the investigation. If anything leaks to the press, we're toast. Well, I'll be fine, but you and your big mouth? Different story, my man. Uh, oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I, I just assumed that... Yeah, don't. You want to be the one who goes to Director Savales to explain to her how the stocks ran down the drains after you accidentally leaked information about a possible break-in? Didn't think so. <sighs> Let's have another look. There we go. That's more like it. Very interesting. Hmm. Huh. This would mean we'd need to scale up on foreclosures considerably. Excellent. Chuck, right? I need you to keep a close eye on those people in the upstairs conference room. Under no circumstances are they to leave the bank. It's Charles, Mr. Man. And yes, Mr. Perez, our head of security, <laughs> already knows about me. We're keeping an eye out. Right, Perez is head. Except, you know, it's my investigation up there. I think I need to talk to him. Keep it a hundred, squad. You do that, Mr. Man. Chop, chop, people. These files aren't looking through themselves. How's the market looking? Still holding up? Well, it's a little bullish this morning, but nothing too interesting. Mr. Man, can I ask why we're keeping an eye on it? No. Oh, I see. It's just... People are talking about a possible investigation. FBI or some outside agency in the conference room upstairs. That's ridiculous. Tell people to stop spreading rumors. Yes, sir. Of course. Okay, so we need to find 15 million somewhere. Shouldn't be that hard. Huh. Not there. Maybe if we close down hard on downtown, might work. Gotta think about it. Squad, you're looking very low key. I need energy here. You need to be slaying it. Don't screw up, all right? Big day today. Keep on your toes. Everything looks all right here. Call me or Savalas if anything changes. So, Maddie, any news on your end? My squad's working hard in there, but so far we're coming up empty. No, nothing concrete so far. I'm reviewing tapes from last night, but everything looks clean. There's a couple of small glitches we're looking closer at, but those might be caused by some power grid failures. Grid failures? Sounds like a big coincidence. Not really. Happens quite frequently in this city. Have you talked to Arthena this morning? No, she's barricaded herself in the office. She's worried the board will hear about this, but I think she's right to bury it. I disagree, but she's the boss. We have nothing to hide, and if we do need to involve the FBI, we'll have trouble explaining why we didn't get them on board the moment the breach was suspected. She has her reasons. Anyway, let's talk again later. Check your tapes, Maddie. <laughs> A 
I've been thinking. I don't think there's been a breach. I'm not sure what's going on exactly, but there's nothing to indicate an actual breach took place here. All due respect, Maddie, but that's ridiculous. How do you explain the mess and the open deposits? Cleaners said everything was okay when they left at 11 in the evening. I don't know. We've had vermin in the building before, and not everyone had left by the time the cleaners went home. Several tellers were still here, at least one person from HR, and, of course, the director. The ward looks on torch, the tapes are clean. Unless we've had a visit from the yard, but it's... I'm not seeing anything here to indicate an actual break-in. Then what? You tell me. The director is the one who ordered the sweep. What is she so nervous about? Why bring in a team of external investigators, but not let internal security handle matters? Why not bring in the FBI immediately? Oh, I see. You're trying to wipe this turd off on the boss. You can't locate any evidence, so Athena must be delusional. Is that the pitch? Not gonna fly, Maddie. I suggest you review your tapes again and let Mr. Mann here deal with the real investigation. If that's what you want, Mr. Mann. Hell of a day, huh? You ever experience anything like it? Take a walk in the Tello Hall, Mr. Man. Listen to the people getting their loan applications rejected. Then talk to me again about having a bad day. Guess we're both earning our wages today, Matteo. Rough day. I'm sure you'll be able to reschedule your appointment with your personal trainer, Mr. Man. Where are we on this? Give me an update. The external auditors are still looking through things. We have no idea what they took. We may never know. If they took anything. What are you talking about? Why break in and not steal anything? We're a bank. Well, to be honest, I don't think there was a break in. We've been at this all day, and all we have is Mr. Mann's word that something happened alongside what is, at best, very flimsy evidence of some sort of tampering. This crap. Athena, listen. I don't think your head of security is up to snuff anymore. They're missing two minutes of security surveillance from the vault could be attributed to a simple power failure on the main grid. There is nothing to suggest anyone made it inside the vault. The deposit boxes have been dampened with, but all of them were empty and unused to begin with. All keys are accounted for. Nothing is logged on the internal security system. Nothing happened here. The deposit boxes were clearly accessed, and files were looked through up here and downstairs. That's indisputable. That's what you two claim. What I'm seeing is amateurs at work. A botched attempt at sleight of hand. My guess? There is something in that Cronkite file of yours that you don't want the board to see, and Fabian here came up with a very poor plan to try to locate it before the big review next week. Hmm. What a load of shit. Fabian. Shut up. Mathieu, these are serious allegations. You understand the consequences of making them. Oh, don't bother firing me. I quit. I've done questionable things in the past, but I want nothing to do with this. Maybe you'll be able to cover your tracks. Maybe not. I'm certainly not going to help you. Here's my data drive. I'll resign tomorrow. <laughs>